Welcome back everyone to DP5 News at 9. We have a festival this weekend that's shining a light on local brewers and small businesses. So telling us more about it, we have Rachel Cotty from SVRC Marketplace, Tony Rivette from Saginaw Beer, and then we also have Tyler Michael from Loggers Brewing. So all three of you, thanks for coming on this morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So we're talking about the Riverfront Saginaw's Winter Brew Fest, and Tony, your founder of festival, how did this all start? Oh, well, it all started back in 2016. Um, Pulaski Hall needed a fundraiser and uh, me and my counterpart there, Jill, put it together and started out 250, 300 people and we had about a thousand last year. So it's wow. really grown and taken off. Okay, so what was your like original plan for it? The original plan was to get like, um, I had several friends that had brand new breweries and um, like Tyler here, mm -hmm. um, they weren't even open yet, but they were at my very first uh, festival and it was nice to get them exposure yeah. and Oracle as well, Maple Grill. and. Uh, have a good time while, you know, raising funds for good causes, so. So Rachel, uh, at SVRC Marketplace this year, and you know, what are you really looking forward to? What do you want the community uh, out there to know or what to expect? So we're excited to be hosting it for the second time. Okay. Um, first time, like Tony said, was very successful. Mm -hmm. And this is a great opportunity for not um, our community just not to try local breweries, but also to support small business. Um, so it opens up our marketplace, it showcases our small businesses. Um, and then of course, SVRC Industries, our Empowered Voices group is a part of the fundraising effort that Tony has pulled together. Um, so we really get to get a sense of all of the greatness that the community brings for our program and our organization, but also, of, of course, supporting our small businesses. That's great. Um, since you say, you know, this is your second time hosting this festival, what was the first year like? So the first year was amazing. I mean, um, I learned a lot about breweries um, <laughs> with Tony. He, he's a great uh, person to collaborate with. but. Um, the response that we had from the community was absolutely amazing. So, you know, the 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 support of the small businesses, the support of the breweries, and the support of the event mm -hmm. at the marketplace. Um, one thing we always we're striving for community events, and we're striving for people to get down to the amazing Riverfront Saginaw that we have. Yeah. Um, so, bringing that event down to Riverfront just totally made sense. Perfect, Tyler. Over to you now. You're one of the brewers that are featured in the festival. Can you just tell us why this partnership is important and why you guys wanted to be along for the ride? Um, well, it started in the very beginning in 2016, actually, uh, before we had actually opened, we started out with Tony's Festival giving away our free homebrewed beer at the time. Those were our uh, soon-to-be test batches for okay. the brewery. And uh, yeah, we uh, kind of just went and did it every single year since, every year. Yep. yep, all the way from Pulaski all the way up to SBRC. Had a great time in between. So, you know, being a part of small business, small brewery, mm -hmm. you thought it was worth it to be part of such a fest. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very important. We always have a great time. Yeah. Made a lot of friends along the way. <laughs> I can't right imagine on. that it's hard not to make friends when you guys are drinking and <laughs> trying things out. Yes. Um, Tyler, just a little bit for those who've never been to Loggers Brewing Company um, or the Loggers Brewing, what should they know? Where are you guys? What do you offer? We are out in Shields. We're uh, River Road and Gratiot. Mm -hmm. And we have been open since 2017. So we're going on seven years now this March and uh, we have a wide range of beers. They're all the way from uh, light lager to barrel-aged stout and a little bit of everything in between. Do you kind of sample everything that you guys have at the festival or you have a select choice? Um, each year it kind of is different, but we try to bring something exciting as well as something that everybody knows and enjoys. So this year we're bringing uh, two lagers and then mostly barrel-aged stouts. So nice. it's gonna be a good time. All right, Tony, tell us your favorite part. You're the brainchild. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is uh, just getting feedback after the event um, yeah. from the, the vendors, the breweries. It's like, you know, it's just amazing to be able to introduce so many people to these great local small businesses. Yeah. And, just getting their, their exposure and just seeing the excitement is really awesome. Not only small businesses, but the great people who run those small yes, businesses. Yes, most definitely. Awesome. Yes. All right. And then, Rachel, lastly, I just wanted to see what other activities, you know, people can check out at SVRC Marketplace. Yeah, so um, in our second floor ballroom, we'll have a Rockin' and Rotation 360 photo booth, all free, uh, provided by the Marketplace. Um, we'll have some pop-up vendors. We have Hot Passports that's going to join us. We have Michigan Beer Drinker that'll have a, a ton of beer swag. Um, <laughs> cool. And we have 
Jeff Trems is going to be doing our live entertainment, so that'll be fun too. Nice. Um, and also too, I just want to make sure people do know that it's not just beer. We do have mm. spirits, there's ciders, um, and tickets can be purchased at the door too. So just because you didn't pre-register doesn't mean that you cannot enjoy the fun. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys bringing us the Winter uh, Brew Festival, Riverfront Sagging on to all of our mid-Michigan viewers. Yes, come support. That's right. And cheers. That's cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. That's what we really cheers. <laughs> All right, so you can find more information on this, tickets and everything, going to the hot links section on our website, WNEM.com.